The more Islam, the less freedom. That's the reality. I don't believe that we should be bringing in last year one and a half million young fighting age Muslim men into Germany. 600,000 have gone missing. 160,000 have gone missing from Sweden. We don't know who they are. We don't know what, what, their, what their motives are in being in Europe. We've already seen 130 people killed by so-called refugees in, in France. We have a big problem. No, yeah, that's nonsense. I don't listen to what the mainstream media said. It's ordinary yeah. people, ordinary concerned people. Um, I left the English Defence League because I found myself constantly battling with far-right uh, minority within it. We're not going to tolerate any far-right in, in this movement. We've got a really, truly multicultural society and we all benefit from it. But it's being distorted by one particular ideology who will not, under any circumstances, integrate with us. That's the truth. People don't like it. And because of that, I get called a racist, a fascist, a Nazi. I'm neither of them things. But I think it's an abomination that they're marching, really. Uh, why a neo-Nazi group should be allowed to march and perpetuate the same hate that was perpetuated against the uh, Jewish community in the 1920s. Uh, the, like the slogans you hear, uh, the things they do. I mean, you can draw direct um, correlations to what uh, the neo-Nazi, what the Nazis were doing back in the 1920s. You know, they're, they're purposely trying to create hatred and, you know, going out there, marching on the street, you know, it's, it's you know, can't be tolerated. A religion of peace, and that is exactly why we are here today. Because the future for this religion of peace calls itself submission. Muhammad.